Willkommen heute wieder zu Path of Exile und nun geht es im zehnten Akt weiter und mal sehen, was die mir jetzt erstmal zu erzählen haben und mit welchen Missionen sie mich in den zehnten Akt schicken. Well, once more, you owe me for letting you sail around on me ship. But that's okay, I'm the kind of girl who can play the long game. Sometime in the future I'll be in need of your services once more. You can pay me back then. All right, come on, you got a job to do. Live to save, goals to kill, better get to it. The prodigal returns. Have you brought with you a weapon to free us? The ravenous one has only grown more hungry since you left us, and I fear your efforts may be too little too late. Kitava has all but destroyed us here, and our poor departed Utula's cultists have taken hold of the city. There's little ground left to tread that won't cause the grasping claws of Hinekora to reach out and wring our pretty little necks. I see your eyes, Exile. You wonder why I am here instead of at the Overseer's Tower. I'll tell you the horrible truth. The tower has fallen to the infernal devices of Kitava, that which mm. Violenta is to blame. She lowered a secret ladder and led Kitava's cultists right to our very beds. Bannon and I barely escaped with our lives. Together, we cut through the hordes, but it was no use. They had us surrounded. Bannon created a distraction which allowed me to flee. When I last saw him, he was perched atop the rooftops, holding off our enemies, though how long he will last, I cannot say. If you are going that way, perhaps you can find him and return him to me. I have grown fond of that Templar. The fire of Namahu burns within his belly. It would not fare well for us in this war if that fire were lost. It is good to see that you survived, my friend. But then, you have fared far worse. The froth of a violent ocean should be no problem for you. While we have been absent, Oriath has become a necropolis, a swarm of Kitava's wretched servants. The situation looks more dire than I had first anticipated. Before we make our move, we must know what we are dealing with. I send you, Exile, as a scout. As the only scout that would stand a chance moving through the shifting forms of this nightmare. You must discover where Kitava resides. Only then can we issue our final blow. You needn't fret. The Dark Ember is still safely in my possession, and will remain so until our final confrontation with Kitava. That carnivorous blasphemy will fall like a log cut from the darkest of forests. And we shall watch him burn, as Oriath and the rest of this world breathes a sigh of relief. I believe Valenta was not of sound mind. At night, we often heard her cry out in sleep, fearing unseen things. I wanted to toss her out on the streets, let the beasts of this fallen city tend to her madness. But Bannon refused to leave behind one of his own. Would that he had listened to me. Valenta thought that if she gave us up to Kitava, the ravenous one would look kindly upon her. Well, look upon her he did. But what he saw and what she became is the thing of nightmares. Her nightmares, perhaps. A dark angel on your shoulder, perhaps. In another time, the presence of this god would trouble me, perhaps even frighten me. But in these days, I cannot afford the sensation of surprise. If he's helped you this far, as you say, then one might expect he will help you all the way to the bitter end, and that is good enough for me. Kitava's appetite has grown bigger than even his devotees had expected. His hunger moves faster now than his followers can keep up. I suppose the canals were the perfect answer to their problem, really. They converted them into one giant feeding trough to bring food to his mouth at a speedier rate. Before their god rose from the depths, Utula and his cultists had direction. They wished to see Kitava free to stage his horrifying banquet. I was foolish enough to believe these theological mumblings as symbols for Kadui freedom. Now that their prophecies have come to fruition, the cultists have lost their minds. It's hard enough to believe the end times of your chosen religion will ever happen, let alone to last longer than the final pages of your holy book. Also, dann schon mal los und mal schauen, ob man tatsächlich einen retten kann. You there! Exile! I am in need of your services once more! Help me! 
steckst du denn da drüben? I would thank God for you, my friend, if that weren't too on the nose. I felt for sure that this time it was my turn to depart our world. Kitava's cultists surrounded Lani and I a while back. We split up and I led a distraction so she could make best her escape. Funny I really should have considered my own plan for evasion once I'd allowed her hers. In any case, it is good to see you again, Exile. Let us talk more in a safer space. I shall meet you back at the docks. Das war ja ein kurzer Abstecher aufs Dach. Haben gleich alle wieder was zu erzählen. Ah, good to see you made it back. You look at me with suspicious eyes. Yes, I know you have your apprehensions about me and my new indwelling spirit. But if it helps a little, I feel innocence stirring inside me, awakening with an odd sense of gratitude towards you. It was, after all, your bite that returned him to humility, allowed the scales to drop from his eyes. If you are to go wandering the city in its current state, be careful where you step. Kitava's cultists are constantly on the prowl, actively seeking food for their god. What's worse, the passage to Kitava's feast is blocked off by two large black gates. We call them Kitava's horns and they are utterly impenetrable to the motions of man. There is but one way in which we can reach Kitava and deprive him of his eternal meal. The staff of Averius lies somewhere amongst the rubble of the Chamber of Innocence, still billowing with holy power. If you were to find it and return it to me, I believe the power in the staff will act as power enough to break through the horned gates. Then it is as I feared. Kitava's strength has grown insurmountable in our absence, and his horns now deny us entry to his feeding trough. Evidently, the hungry god has grown picky about what crumbs now travel towards his burgeoning throat. It is this strength that concerns me. I have spoken with our friend Bannon over there, a willful vessel of my misguided brother. I knew eventually we would need to enlist my brother's services. Though I had hoped we need not do so this soon. Yet, it seems that we have no other choice. We must invoke my dormant brother, slumbering within Bannon's frame. Kitava's horns are a thing of great corruption, which only innocence's purity can dispel. Before we proceed, I feel I must confide something in you. Bannon wishes me not to speak of it, as he is willing for the sacrifice. However, I feel you should know. Once we invoke innocence, once we dredge him up from his cocoon inside the soul of Bannon, the man shall cease to be. Mm. Only the god shall remain. Do you understand what I say, Exile? If we take this path, Bannon will die. Excruciatingly so. Burnt with purity from the inside out. As I said, Bannon is willing to commit his life to this cause. But perhaps you should say your farewells before we move past the point of no return. Was a time when the ladies would be begging for a bit of old Whalem. But I ain't felt the warm caress of a woman in a long time, and it wounded me dreadful. During my time on the sea, I heard tale of Queen Etzeri and her penchant for using this land as a kind of vault for all her special shinies. One such shiny be her famed love potion, supposed to attract the drinker's ideal mate to their loins, even if that mate be far across the sea. Old Queen Etzeri kept the liquid in the skull of her favorite lover. Them damned Templars probably got their hands on it by now, and the potion's bizarre container has me thinking. They probably went and tossed it into the ossuary along with the rest of the bones they got lying around. Exile, 
Be you the friend I believe you to be, then find a potion for me, so that I can experience true love once more. Was hat denn so eine Verzauberung mit wahrer Liebe zu tun? Now that the Brian King is nothing but crab meat, his sunken domain, the ancient city of Sawatha is ripe for the plundering. My granddaddy once dedicated a good portion of his sailing life trying to hunt down the location of that monolithic city. Then, while he were otherwise indisposed, years truly tried to follow in his gnarled footsteps, track down the teardrop, a pearl as big as your head, carved with the clues to the city's subaquatic location. I was this close to completing my grandfather's legacy when those damn Templar privateers raided my ship and took off with the teardrop, threw it in their reliquary here in Theopolis. As it were, now's the perfect time to retrieve that dazzling pearl. Think you can nab it for me? I'll make it worth your while. Maybe tick it off the list of things you owe me. Okay, damit ist die zweite Nebenquest dann auch schon da. Every cell dwelling lad or lass knows of Sir Arthur. They call it a city, but all more of a slaughterhouse than anything else. Old Salty himself ruled over the place, treating its citizens as morsels from his own personal pantry. Those who weren't devoured outright were picked to try continue his family line. They became fishwives like that pretty young Nessa near ended up being. Well, the Brine King, as you know, was forced into a slumber beneath the ocean, and the city was said to have joined him there as well. A few folk managed to flee from the collapsing coral shards, start new lives for themselves, but I'll be reckoning they left all their valuables behind. So, das heißt, dass es auch noch mal ein Wiedersehen dann mit Nessa gibt, schwirrt die dann vielleicht dort rum? Were a long time ago now, but then privateers took the teardrop, threw it in the reliquary, then took yours truly and threw me in those goddamn slave pens. Far as I can tell, they never did work out what the teardrop was for. Lucky me, I suppose. It was tough, but with the help of a few other undesirables, I managed to find my way out of them pens and into the reliquary. I made an attempt to burgle back what was burgled from me. Boy, did we sure underestimate the size of them guards the Templars had on the place. Only I managed to escape unscathed. Me accomplices weren't to be so lucky. They ended up in Ray classed, much like yourself. Fact, I believe you may have crossed paths. Creighton? Elira? Oak? Sie ist mit den dreien im Bunde gewesen. Na prima. I wouldn't blame you for being curious about the god now dwelling within me. In truth, I'm honored to have been chosen to be Innocence's vessel. You may hear this and think I sound like a pious Templar fool, but it is hard to remain an unbeliever when the gods walk around you. And indeed, one sleeps inside you. No need to fear, however. Our poor purity god surely regrets the actions of his past. I can't see him, but I can feel his spirit, wounded and cowering somewhere inside me. At night, I hear him whimpering over his wounds. I must say you hurt him good, but as much as I feel his pain, I also feel a budding newness in his heart. He is growing again, and relearning the compassion for humanity that he had long since lost. Das wird auf jeden Fall noch spannend werden, ob das wirklich so bleibt. Back when the cultists took control of the city, the very ground itself shook, as if pained by some dark abomination. The gnarled horns of Kitava erupted from the earth like spiraling pillars of corruption weaving together a barrier impeding travelers from moving through the city. Scheint nicht so als würde es irgendeinen Dialog darüber geben, dass er darüber wirklich stirbt, sobald das Innocent erwacht. Oh ja, von hier geht's dann überall hin. Ja, dann halte ich mich erstmal nach unten, um die eine Nebenquest zu machen. Und wird dann später wieder nach oben kommen. Wobei es hier wahrscheinlich noch einen ja, Wegpunkt gibt. Den sollte ich auf jeden Fall erstmal finden. Und wieder verrottete Materialchen. Das dritte Mal auferstanden. Und vielmehr das zweite Mal wieder auferstanden und das dritte Mal, dass ich sie gegen sie kämpfen musste. Wahrscheinlich ist der Wegpunkt vor den Hörnern. Weil da muss ich ja dann eh nachher wieder hin. Naja, ah da oben ist der Wegpunkt. Sehr schön.
Okay, das heißt hier, genau, da sind die Hörner dann. Hier müsste da jetzt eigentlich dann der eine Pfad unterbrochen sein. Am ersten Teil habe ich hier die, ja, diese drei Relikte für Kitara oder von Kitara gesucht. Da sitzt er schon unten dran. Da ist also die Perle. Oder vielmehr die Träne. Ein nicht zu entschlüsselnder Vers, nur sowas. Exile, you're a giant among men. You got no idea how long I have yearned to have this beauty once more in my hands. The teardrop is surprisingly still in pretty good condition. Not too typical of the baubles them Templars like to steal. We'll stick around a while longer. But once things settle down, my grandfather and I will be setting sail with Sir Arthur firm in our sights. So, dann jetzt die zweite Nebenquest. Das ist der Bereich, wo ich den Stab von Innocent geholt habe. Genau, da hinten ist noch die Aszendenzprüfung. Gut. Sie war berühmt für ihre unzähligen Liebhaber, jene, die nicht aus freien Stücken die Nähe zu Aziri suchten, kamen durch flüssige Überzeugungen. Ah ja. Jetzt bin ich ja mal gespannt, was der Geist damit anstellen will. Ja, found it! Bless your boots, Exile! My lady problems will be over at last! Let's give it a go then. Hmm. Hmm. I feel nothing. Blast it all to the ocean depths. Ruined. Oh, damn ye, sitting around in that damned city. The love's magic fizzled right out of the damn thing. Oh, well, can't blame a man for trying. Anyway, here's a little something for your effort. Ja, zumindest ist es eben nicht genauso gegangen wie dem anderen Seefahrer. So, alle Nebenquests abgeschlossen. Das heißt, jetzt geht's in die Katakomben, beziehungsweise erstmal in die zusammengebrochene Halle, um den Start wieder zu finden. Also, auf ins Gericht. So, mal gucken, wo jetzt hier dieser komische Stab steckt. Beziehungsweise, ich brauche noch einen Übergang, weil das ist ja erstmal das entflammte Gericht. Das heißt, ich muss noch in die andere Kammer rüber. Ich muss jetzt hier jemanden bekämpfen, um den Stab zu bekommen. Oh. Ach, Avarius ist wieder da. Und seine Roboter hat er auch noch zum Rumlaufen. Da bin ich ja mal gespannt, wie weit sich das geändert hat dann. Ne, da laufen sie schon. Na komm, du brauchst ja jetzt nicht mehr lange. Ha! Diesmal hast du nicht so lange gebraucht. Sorgt euch nicht um die Herden, sie sind seelenlos, geformt als Behältnisse des Zorns und durch heilige Vorgaben verdammt. Erweckung! I fear I have not been entirely honest with you, my friend. While it is true that this staff can forge a path for us through Kitava's horns, it has the ability to revitalize innocence into waking fully. And that is where the staff's true power resides. In this act, I will become his host in the fullest sense. And together, he and his brother Sin will be able to ally with you against the forces of darkness. I bid you farewell, Exile. For where my spirit is set to travel, there is no return. Win this battle. Defeat Kitava. Free our people. Licht und Schatten. I am reborn. A new god in a troubled land. 
Brother, you have seen better days, I am sure. But for now, you must rouse yourself. We have work to do. If ever you wish to make right the wrongs of your past, help me now. As once I asked you in the early days of mankind, do this for me, and I shall consider our quarrel to be at its end. Go. Do battle the mounted exile. Though my brother and I will aid you, I sense the universe conspires for you to be the savior of our world on this day. Bannon was a man whom I greatly admired, possibly even loved. My heart is grieved to see him depart from us and journey to the home of Hinikora. Yet, he sacrificed himself so that we might live and stood true to his convictions. This God, this born-again innocence, fills me with unease. Though he appears repentant of his past transgressions, I do not believe he should be forgiven, nor that he should tread this earth any longer than is required. Auf zu Kitaba. Mal gucken, ob es jetzt direkt zum Endkampf geht oder ob noch was dazwischen kommt. Bone and corruption shall not impede the path of purity. Also die letzte Ära ist es noch nicht. Ich bin ja vor allen Dingen gespannt, wie der Kampf mit Gitarre denn tatsächlich sein wird. Weil der Kampf gegen die drei Helfer von Malakai im letzten Akt, das war schon ziemlich lustig, wo die drei Seelen nochmal zu besiegen waren, damit dieser Stein geborgen werden kann aus der Bestie. Okay, da wartet Kitara. Wird es auch jetzt noch so ein langer Fahrt? Seine Fußstapfen. Es gab jetzt hier noch keinen einzigen Wegpunkt. Und es gibt auch keinen hier drin. Na prima. Hey, nur noch ein Monster. Das heißt, ich bin schon am Ende jetzt. Das heißt, jetzt ist nur noch Gitarre übrig. Ach, hier steckt ihr zwei jetzt. Na dann, erzählt mir doch mal jetzt den Rest. This is it. It all comes down to this moment to finally put an end to Gitarre. Go, Exile. Together we will save humankind. Ja, ja, klasse. Kann ich mich jetzt irgendwie hinter euch in Sicherheit bringen? Sein Herz liegt wieder draußen. Okay, schluck dein Herz. Wie weit bist du jetzt runter? Okay, einen hast du dir jetzt geschnappt und hast ihn zu einem Herold umgewandelt. Das erste Viertel war das jetzt, so allein schon die Schwierigkeit überhaupt den Kampf lesen zu können. Oben, ja, und dann nicht an der Stelle zu stehen, wo ich in 0, nichts drauf gehe. Da wäre wahrscheinlich der Gott, dass ich gegen Lava oder gegen Feuerboden unempfindlich bin, sehr hilfreich. 
allein schon ein Vorteil, wenn ich überhaupt schaffe, ein paar Sekunden hier drin zu überleben. Nein! So, jetzt hier zügig die Viecher erledigt, bevor die so viele werden, dass ich hier keine Chance mehr habe. Komme ich nicht durch. Und als Belohnung, dass ich mich hier dann durchgekämpft habe, verliere ich dann noch mehr Resistenzen. Okay, schnapp dir dein Herz und die letzte Runde. Jetzt frisst du den anderen. Ha, ich bin zumindest einmal dem Flammenmeer entkommen. Ach, den hast du noch in der Hand. Nein! Ah, weg, 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 weg! Der setzt die ganze Spielfläche in Brand. Ich glaube, ihr wollt nicht spinnen. 100% verringerte Wirkung von brennendem Boden auf euch. Das muss ich jetzt gleich mal ausprobieren. So, mal gucken, ob das jetzt taugt. Naja. Verbrennen tue ich trotzdem. Also dafür reicht das jedenfalls nicht. Oh, ein ganz schmaler Rand ist geblieben. Das muss man dann natürlich wissen, damit man sich darauf vorbereiten kann. Okay, diesmal nicht. Okay, ihr habt ihn jetzt im... Okay, sein Herz ist wieder draußen. Der Kampf der tausend Tode. Das war's. Und ich habe nichts mitbekommen. Wobei viel ist wahrscheinlich auch nicht passiert. Super. Ja. Und so endet das Epilog. Okay. Na dann, erzählt mal den Schluss. Fantasy! That bloody sword is gone from our world! <laughs> Can't tell you how many times I've heard them Karui savages gibbering in fear over that cannibal god. And of course there's a... Oh, all this horror to account for as well. I don't think there's a man, woman, a child in the world that won't be praising your name tonight over a glass of their finest grog. <laughs> Speaking of which... Where's a man to go to find a little fire water around these parts? I suspect you're about ready for a flagon of ale. And a pretty wench or swain, whatever it be that's your persuasion. The great exile of Aureath returns to a Theopolis in chaos and ends the life of a raving cannibal god. Now that's a story worth the songs of many an ancient muse. Well, all I can rightly say is congratulations, my friend. A year ago, I wouldn't have dreamt I'd be someday soon in the company of a killer of gods. My advice, you better get while the getting's good and have yourself a holiday. For Aureth, or Rayclast, or whoever else has need for your unique services once more. Die Master sind jetzt auch alle hier. Ein ganzer Marktplatz. Das Templer Laboratorium. Sind die beiden Götter auch noch da? Da haben die sich aus dem Staub gemacht. Ah, da sind sie ja. Sogar Zana ist jetzt hier zu finden. Bevor Kitava tore this city apart, the Templar kept many artifacts hidden deep beneath the city streets. The only surviving remnants of the Templar theocracy are what they hoped to hide forever. I think it's time to pull back the veil. There's an entrance to the Templar laboratory not far from here. My father used to sneak me inside as a child. He never could stand the long work days apart. Come, 
There's something I think you need to see. Aber dass sie was zu den dreien da zu sagen hat. Aber jetzt sieht es also mit den Resistenzen ziemlich mau aus. Genau, hier wurde durch die Kavas gnadenlose Heimsuchung permanent geschwächt. Innocence. You see now, don't you? Little brother. Please forgive me. It's as if I have been dreaming the most horrid nightmare. And now, at last, the haze of sleep lifts from my eyes. My vision is clear. Oh, by the gods, forgive me. It is as true now as it was when we began. You and I are of the same flesh, cleaved from the same womb. You ask for my forgiveness. I give it to you freely. But the things I've done, the countless millions I've murdered. There will be time for all of that later. But for now, your people need you. Oriath needs you. No, I cannot remain here amongst these ruins, amongst the corpses of my own making. These people, they need you, brother, and your hero. Not me. Then what? Where will you go? What will you do? Isolation. I shall go south. As far south as one can travel in such a fleshly form. There are things I must think on. The redemption I need plan. If my conscience decides I am worthy of such a gift. You would seek forgiveness in the ice at the bottom of the world. I would. Should you let me. Go. Seek out that which you need. Find who you are. Make pilgrimage. Journey on your path, brother. Only return to us one day. Thank you, brother. You have heard my admission of guilt and my plea for forgiveness. If I sense in the glowing embers of your eyes that you will be glad to be rid of me. I don't blame you, mortal. Nor do I begrudge you for your continual anger. The sins I've committed, although bad enough, are made worse by the lens of pride I once viewed this world through. I agree with your judgment, and though I wish never to return from my banishment, I have made a promise to sin that I shall one day rejoin this world. But until that day, I will remain in the furthest south. In a place of ice and ash, of blistering seas and abysmal storms. I shall meditate on my wrongdoings, until a way of making amends to the millions of lives I have murdered and ruined reveals itself to me. Okay, du hast nichts weiter zu sagen. My mother died not long after I was born, and my father too was gone only a handful of years later. Orphaned, my family's assets were seized and I was handed off to a series of well-off foster homes as an indentured servant. But children are curious creatures, and even by those standards I was extremely curious indeed. I grew up reading everything I could get my hands on, and questioning everything they tried to teach me. I was too smart for my own good, I suppose, because eventually I started drawing the attention of the Templar. Luckily for me, Dominus was much less subtle than the previous High Templars, so I managed to leave Oriath on my own terms, mostly, before my impending exile. Good riddance. In all honesty, I thought the gods were just fairy tales the Templars would tell children to keep them in line. I'd have much preferred that. No one is happy about what occurred here, but if a silver lining can be found, we all have the opportunity to start again. All our past deeds, good or bad, now lie beneath the rubble. I, like you, found myself on the shores of Rayclast. I saw the fleets of Oriathan ships dashed on the rocks after Kitava's rise. Who would have thought that Rayclast was safer than home? I returned to Oriath not long after hearing of Kitava's demise. There was no one left to tell us we can't live here anymore and the knowledge that once endangered me could actually be put to good use in the cleanup and the rebuilding effort. I guess I'm not really one to hold a grudge. Good quality stone is scarce on this island. It's plentiful on Rayclast, but shipping it back is slow, and those ships are put to better use bringing back survivors. 
I know of a way that we might be able to source vast quantities of not just stone, but any resource you could possibly imagine. I just need to make sure it's safe. Ah ja, yeah. das heißt, ich habe jetzt noch eine Mission bekommen, um tatsächlich noch so einen Kartenapparatus in Gang zu setzen. Gut, also hier gibt es auch keine Gegner, sondern nur den Kartenapparat. Sobald man noch kein Hideout hat, kann man dann von hier aus loslegen. My name is Anna. But I already know who you are. I also know what you did, Exile. If it weren't for you, none of us would be standing here. There mightn't have been a here to even stand on. This map device is a miracle of both engineering and thaumaturgy. It's truly astounding. Given the right coordinates from a map, this device can take you to places that... Well, honestly, I think it's easier for you to see for yourself just what it's capable of. What lies beyond is dangerous, but so are you. Yet even the God Slayer may not be dangerous enough. Take a map and use it in this device. I'll wait for you on the other side. Die leere Karte aktuell. Also einmal Friedhofskarte. My father was a very well-educated man. He worked as a researcher in Oria, back when they were allowed to research more than just holy texts. Sadly, He's gone now, but his research remained hidden in our attic. I took what I could and read it in secret as I was moved between foster homes. I read of the mortal founders whose bones were hidden deep in the ossuary. I read of the false saints who continued to be revered in the Temple of Innocence. I read his writings over and over again, memorized them. They were the last connection I had to him. His research became something of an escape, I suppose. I wanted to build on it, especially the maps he described in such great detail. My father's writings frequently reference the work of other researchers. In particular, the heretical belief that the environment can influence a creature's form. In Ray class, we see the effect that corruption has on beasts, humans, even the dead. Through my map device, we see something similar, but possibly even worse. Something disturbed is out there. I used to think perhaps Rayclass corruption was seeping through into the Atlas. But what if it's the reverse? What if whatever is distorting the maps is... What if it's seeping out here, into our world? That's why this work is so important. Auf in die erste Karte. One small step. Still sane, Exile? Look around you, Exile. This isn't Oriath, nor is it Rayclast. I don't even think it's our world. These maps, they hold many secrets. I know it almost looks familiar, but the creatures here, they're different, more aggressive, more dangerous. We must work fast, exploring and collecting what knowledge we can. In the past, my initial expeditions were accompanied by mercenaries and thieves. Nearly all were driven mad. I believe you can fend off the creeping madness of this realm. But first, let's test your resolve. A powerful presence lurks nearby. Kill it before it grows any stronger, and meet me back in our world. If you survive, we'll have much to discuss. Ah, und die haut jetzt ab. Super. Naja, die Friedhofskarten waren zumindest nicht so schwierig. Weil der Bischof, der unten in der Gruft wartet, ähm, jetzt doch ein recht angenehmer Gegner ist. Oh, ihr Ver... Ah! Stahlspitz der Rechner? Rechner, wer ist das denn? Naja, dann wird es doch nicht so einfach, wie ich gehofft habe. Das heißt, in Wirklichkeit sind hier die drei drin. Das heißt, sie können nicht mehr einzeln sterben, sondern sie sterben nur, wenn ich alle drei erledigt habe.
Hey, der eine ist jetzt schon weg. Das heißt, dann sind alle tot. Nee. So Einheit ist die Seelen dann doch nicht. Das heißt, zumindest der mit den Pfeilen ist weg, der mir am gefährlichsten wird. Okay, zweiter erledigt. Fehlt noch einer. Ey! Das ist gar nicht mein Blitzkolem gewesen, doch. Bonusziel. Karte vervollständigt. Uh, da gab es ja eine Menge Karten. So, das war's. Immerhin 10% wieder zurückgewonnen. How fair is your mind? Everything's still intact. Good. Then there's something I need to show you. I've spent some time out there exploring the maps, and despite their apparent randomness, there are threads that connect them. Threads we should follow. The more we understand these connections, the more each of these maps can offer us. And the closer we'll be to finding out the secrets that twist them. This is the Atlas of Worlds. And we can use it to track these connections. We can use it to chart a path. So, von der Friedhofskarte habe ich jetzt angefangen. Hier sieht man jetzt schon den ersten Teil vom Krieg der Welten. These worlds, they have changed since last I remember. They've become darker, more twisted in a way that betrays their true origin. I no longer believe these are realms of chance. Rather, They must have been formulated by a sentient mind, a designer, or architect. Every shadow in this place creeps about like an unforeseen purpose. Whatever is out there forming these worlds concerns me. We should find the source of the darkness and put an end to it before something leaks out into our reality. I understand you've created a little hideout for yourself. If you have the room, Cohabitation could allow us to strengthen our alliance. What do you think? Gut, aber damit für heute erstmal genug. Die zehn Akte sind jetzt damit abgeschlossen. Die Tava ist erledigt. Auch das gnadenlose Labyrinth jetzt freigeschaltet. Das heißt, auch da kann ich mich dann demnächst versuchen, meine nächsten beiden Escandency Points zu bekommen. Nachdem mit der Unterstützung der beiden jetzt die Tava erledigt ist, und ich ja jetzt einfach dann in die Karten starte und das Labyrinth noch vor mir habe, schließe ich damit erstmal heute ab. Und mal sehen, ob ich jetzt vor dem Ende der League noch eine weitere Folge machen werde. Aber auf jeden Fall ist jetzt erstmal die ganze Story-Geschichte zumindest bis dahin erzählt. Und so ein bisschen kenne ich ja die Geschichte vom Atlas schon. Die habe ich vorher schon mal ein bisschen angespielt. Auch wenn ich den Schöpfer letztlich noch nie wirklich selber begegnet bin. Also zumindest nicht zum Endkampf. Zwischendrin taucht er ja doch ab und zu mal auf und hinterlässt dann so ein paar erste Eindrücke und verstärkte die Bossmonster. Aber mal sehen, wie das dann weitergeht. Ja, in ein paar Wochen steht ja dann das nächste Content-Update an. Mal gucken, ob sie das dann, ob da irgendein Teil hier mit angebunden wird und ob dann die Geschichte irgendwie schon fortgesetzt wird, ob sie dann noch irgendwas weiteres erzählen. Also es bleibt spannend. Bis zum nächsten Mal dann in der Atlas of Worlds oder in der nächsten League. Tschüss.